Hello students, in this video we'll use the moment generating function to show the sum of n normally distributed random variables that have different means and standard deviations will add up to a new normal random variable, assuming they're independent. So let's let x1, x2, through xn be independent random variables. With, with xi normally distributed with mean mu i and variance sigma i squared. Then I claim, then x1 plus, plus xn is going to be normally distributed with mean, the sum of the means, and variance, the sum of the variances. Okay. So let's prove that. One thing we always know is that I can always deduce that since these are independent, I can just compute the expected value of this random variable x1 plus x2 plus xn and see that it's the sum of the mu i squared. And I can compute the variance of this since they're independent. The variance of the sum is the sum of the variances, assuming they're independent. So I get the variances add up to this expression over here. What's needed for this proof is we need to actually understand what the distribution is. And the distribution remains normal. So let's see that. So to do this, we recall what the moment generating function for a normal random variable is. So recall. The MGF moment generating function for y, which is normally distributed with mean mu and variance sigma squared, is the exponential function of mu t plus sigma squared t squared over 2. And so now we're going to use the fact that if x1, so if in general, if y1 through yn are independent, then the MGF of the sum is going to be the product of the MGFs. That's properties of exponentials and independence. Okay. So let's use this result now. So now, what will be the MGF of this expression over here? So the MGF, so the moment generating function of x1 plus, plus xn at t is going to be what? It's going to be the product of the moment generating function. It's going to be mx1 of t through mxn of t by independence and properties of exponentials. And now we can write out exactly what this thing is. So this first thing over here is the exponential of mu1 t plus sigma1 squared t squared over 2 times all the way down to the exponential of mu n t plus sigma n sigma n squared t squared over 2. And now by properties of exponentials, that's a 2. That's a squared. And so now by properties of exponentials, I can write this as what? As the exponential of t times mu 1 plus all the way down to mu n plus t squared over 2. And then the sum of the sigmas, sigma 1 squared plus sigma n squared. And therefore, the conclusion is that this is the what? This is the moment generating function of a normal random variable whose mean is the sum of these mu i's and whose variance is the sum of the sigma i squared. And that proves the result. So we have the sum of independent normal random variables will, again, be a normal random variable where you add up the means and you add up the variances to find out what the mean and variance of the sum is. Thank you very much.